Let us begin our Catholic communion service in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The communion, or I'm sorry, the entrance antiphon. O people of Zion, behold, the Lord will come to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of his voice heard in the joy of your heart. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned through my thoughts and my words, and what I've done, and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band about his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den and a child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as waters cover the sea. On that day, the roof of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time, in fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his days, and a profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, 
the lives of the poor he shall save. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the Son, his name, shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall pro proclaim his happiness. Joseph shall flourish in his son, and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the, promise to the, confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles may glorify his mer God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall, shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore a clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt about his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the foot of the trees. Therefore every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. John the Baptist says, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. The uh, kingdom of God is like Jesus is living here and now. It's a call for me to turn away from my life of rebelling to become obedient to Jesus. The kingdom is the rule of Jesus over people. It means my obedience to the commandments and the victory of Jesus over physical evil and death. The church teaches me Jesus' kingdom is happening in me in stages and ends with the coming of Jesus at the end. 
Hey, John the Baptist's baptism in water are followed by my cleansing by the power of the Holy Spirit fire purifying me. This really happened to my soul and body when I was baptized and it lasts in me forever. All these things I'm saying of myself apply to all Christians, <laughs> all Catholics. Isaiah tells me about Jesus. He is from the house of David. He blossoms. The Spirit of the Father and Holy Spirit are resting on him. He's wise, understanding, a counselor, strong, knowledgeable, and pious. He judges poor people justly. He makes the right decisions for afflicted people. He strikes evil doing. He slays Satan. He brings justice and faithfulness to all people. He brings peace between wolf and lamb, leopard and kid goat, calf and lion, cow and bear, lion and ox, baby and cobra, child and rattlesnake. The child will guide all. Um, we're in Advent and we're waiting for the baby Jesus to come who is our guide. Harm and ruin ends among the holy and people are full of the knowledge of Jesus. Jesus is a signal for people. People will seek Jesus. The dwelling of Jesus is glorious. I think Isaiah is prophesying about Jesus in this peace between natural enemies, the hunters and their prey. The Paschal mystery of Jesus, Jesus is born, what we await in Advent, he lives, he suffers and dies and rises from death. In Jesus, I experience the marriage of all the difficulties of living with all my sufferings and with my death. Peace is brought to all of these in my life by the grace of my faith given me by Jesus in the reality of his resurrection. The Eucharist hosts, which we eat now, are the real body, soul, and divinity of Jesus living and true, here and now. He is coming to live and dwell and give grace in me and in us. First off, we pray for all the intentions in our book of intentions and all the intentions that you have right now. Let's also pray God for healing grace to everybody who is sick, especially those with COVID throughout the world and for all our relations who are sick friends. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God may raise the hopes of all who suffer anxiety, all who are depressed. For this, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God may give graces to all of those who care for the sick, especially all the staff here at the Episcopal Church home. For all of them, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for everybody who may be sorrowing and mourning for our relatives who have died, um, for 
our spouses, for our children, for parents, for anyone who has been dear to us, for all of their souls, we pray for the repose. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God may give peace and joy to all of us who are here now seeking him. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray. Quick, come to the aid of your faithful. We call on you, Lord. Graciously give us strength in our weakness. So dedicated to you sincerely. We find gladness in all your remedies now and in the life to come. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us um, say our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, with the birth of Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and arose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, who is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. prayer over the offerings. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what we, what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The communion antiphon, behold, I am coming soon. And my recompense is with me, says the Lord, to bestow a reward according to the deeds of each. And together let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be cured.
body because of Jesus. body of Christ. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look kindly upon you and give you his peace. The Lord bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.